Mining asteroids is currently the realm of science fiction, but is it possible? If um, an NEA comes suitably close to the Earth, you can actually nudge it a bit and then actually put it into orbit about the Earth, place it anywhere you want. I think you know, most people will probably want to put it fairly close to the Earth, but um, far enough away that it doesn't interfere with any of the satellites orbiting the Earth. I think if it's like further away than the Moon, then it would be a bit too difficult to get to. I think Earth is already overcrowded. We need to move on to other planets. Okay, for now we can talk about Mars, but then, come on, let's be realistic. We're not going to stop at Mars. We're going to go to another planet. Jupiter being a gas giant, we're not going to go there. And moving to any of the Jupiter's moon, I think it's going to be very difficult as well because of the huge magnetic field, very powerful magnetic field of Jupiter. It irradiates anything. It just go on to the comets, not just asteroids, go on to the comets, mine them, continue to other solar systems. Asteroids basically contain all the materials that um, the Earth contains. So if we want to put out a particular kind of metal, we can actually probably find an asteroid containing that kind of metal. Even if you have just silicates, which may not be that useful right now as you think of, you can actually turn them into structures, uh, you can mold them into different structures. You can use that for setting up another space station. Since asteroids are made out of the same rocky building blocks as the Earth, most of the materials that we mine out of the Earth could one day be taken from asteroids instead. These orbital mines could one day make terrestrial mining obsolete and potentially be the first steps in extraterrestrial settlement. With raw materials literally at their feet, hardy asteroid miners could begin construction on permanent outposts upon these tiny worlds. By continuing to advance our knowledge of NEOs and the technology surrounding them, we may one day be able to turn these potential disasters into potential new frontiers. A collision between Earth and a kilometer-sized NEO would cause widespread devastation. But what are the odds of such an event actually occurring in the next millennium or so? Um, I don't know. I would look it up. One in 500. <laughs> so kilometer guys, they hit every 500,000 years or so. So the odds, if we had, if we were flying blind, if we hadn't already done surveys, our best guess at the odds would be one in 300 probability. But we've discovered about 90% of the asteroids, and we're tracking about 90%, and none of them are on impact trajectories. We have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's small, very small, but... If it hits, then yes. I mean, it has. The, the one chance has. I mean, the, if you're, the, the premise now is that that's what caused the extinction of dinosaurs. And so if that's true, it has hit. And if we look at craters and other planets, it has hit. But a thousand years for the, the scale universe is really tiny. I don't know, but it would be quite interesting if one did. <laughs> it can, you never know. It, it could, one, one could come up tomorrow because there are orbits where they cannot be seen easily. The odds are small, uh, not zero, but very small, which is a good thing. The ones we're worried about now are the small ones. Things that are, um, you know, 50 meters, 30 meters uh, and higher, up, maybe up to a kilometer, which are more frequent. Uh, so those are the ones that are more of a challenge. They don't, they won't destroy our planet or end our civilization, but they could cause serious damage and kill a lot of people. We don't want that to happen.